Welcome to another episode of the Coral Island series. Let's check the calendar. Nothing happening today, but we do have a birthday tomorrow. All right. We have some plastic over here. Let's go ahead and pick this up so it's not on our screen all the time. Let's check our mail. Greetings, Knox. We started a new initiative called Merit Points, a reward system for community involvement. I'd love to explain more in person. Join me at the community center soon. Looking forward to seeing you. And I'd like to run an idea about by you about local produce. Meet me at the general store when you have time. Looks like we're going to be heading into town today. Looks like there's some things ready for harvest. Got some potatoes. That's it. Alright, now let's see where we are on our quest to make a furnace. Need a lot more bronze ore. Okay, so we probably need to go into the mine for that then. Have we sold potatoes before? We've sold... Let's go ahead and sell that. We have sold potatoes. Okay. Okay, everything's watered. Got stuff put away. I think I'm going to go in and double check the calendar. I didn't think to see how many days were left in the month. Can we see that? I don't think we can see that in our inventory. Oh, we still have a lot of the month left. Yeah, so we should probably get more stuff to, to grow while we're talking to Sam. Hey there. You sent me a note. Hello, I'm glad you made it. Hello. Oh, we're getting somewhere. We've recently implemented a system in town to make life here even more rewarding. Let me explain. They're, these are called merit points. Okay. You can earn them by completing errands posted on the town board right here in town. Okay. But that's not all. Attending festivals, winning the mini games, or main events at them, and even the town's rank increasing can also grant you merit points. For example, you, but my blossoming butterfly, have already earned. Let's see. Knock, snack, ah, there you are. You've earned 40 merit points by attending the Cherry Blossom Festival. Yay! We introduced the system to encourage people to get more involved in the community. Over there, at the merit exchange counter, you can exchange the points you've earned for various items. Trust me, it's worth the effort. Okay. So, there you have it, Knox. I'm looking forward to seeing you earn these merit points. Sounds good. We've got stamina fruit, the elixirs, scarecrows... So we don't have enough uh, for anything, but that's fine. <laughs> I figured I'd take a look through my journal. I think there's places I just don't look. Oh, you can look back at the letters you've gotten. And you can look at the monsters you fought. No, oh, there is a cyclopedia for, like, critters. Wow, and all the crops you can grow. Yeah, here's our activity log. So by putting in things into the museum, we're getting points. So I think these are just points towards this, and they're separate from merit points. And here's our leveling. We haven't leveled much of anything. <laughs> okay, one thing I was curious about was if it showed our... the things required that need offered to the goddess. But I don't see it here, so that's good. I thought maybe I had just been missing it. Yeah, I figured I'd go around and check the map for people we don't know. It doesn't look like there's any we don't. So we will go... oh, there's a bug. Stop by our semi friendly store shop owner here. <laughs> I don't know that I've caught, yeah, I haven't caught this guy before. That's exciting. Let's take a gander at this here board since we've just learned about it. No tasks. Okay. Nox, you've been quite the regular. I really haven't, but thanks for saying that. Working hard at the farm, hmm? Uh, yeah, getting used to it. Good, good. I see you're also getting much use of the shipping bin. Yes. Your shipment is always a huge hit with the townsfolk. I think we all miss the taste of local produce. As you can see, all imported. <laughs> Let me show you something. To be fair, I can't grow any of these things, so these will probably stay here. <laughs> this is our import section. Everything on this side is imported. I have to say, it's very expensive to get them here, and the shipping costs, tax, that sort of thing. They add up surprisingly fast. 
I've done my best to keep prices low. My margins are razor thin, but it's just not enough. Any lower and we'll go under. And this here is our local section. It's so empty and it's really sad to look at. As soon as I receive your crops, I put them here and they're selling like hotcakes, flying off the shelves, as it were. It wasn't always like this. Back in the day when my, my folks were in charge, the whole store used to be stocked top to bottom with local produce. It was something to be proud of, but now I have no choice but to sell imported produce only. I'd love to reopen the local produce section, but need your help to do it. The task is simple. You need to ship a lot of bronze quality vegetables and fruits. I've jotted the exact amount on this note. Thanks. And of course, I'll pay extra for this effort. I think extra coins on top of your usual crop commission when the whole order is filled, huh? Yeah. Works for me. Alright. Wait for this to go away. Uh, let's go ahead and shop. I'll just upgrade the bag. Uh, let's wait. Uh, shop. I just bought two of everything to get planted. Because I can't remember how many squares are covered by the scarecrow. <laughs> oh, there's a kitty up there. Oh, weird seeing you out of your truck. You could find all kinds of things around my house. Oh, like food, I mean. There's wild mushrooms and even fresh fruit sometimes. Oh, thanks for letting me know. If you find any wild fruit, real, feel free to take it, by the way. I need a bigger house to cook, that's right. It's like, why did I never get any cooking supplies? Well, you can put such cool stuff outside. <laughs> oh, there's also. Oh, wow, there's so much stuff you could get. That's amazing. Oh! An event. Oh yes, I remember this one. Oh, so fun running into you here. Uh, nice to see you again. Uh, hey, that's sweet likewise, of course. Anyway, I'm trying something out. So there's an old legend about the goddess who lives in the waters on Coral Island. I heard it from my dad. Uh, like this? Lake, I think? Don't tell anybody, but I've been throwing flowers around this lake since. Gosh, yeah, I've been doing it in a bunch of different spots. Still nothing. I know it's silly, but all fairy tales are kind of silly, right? Anyway, I thought I'd throw some flowers in next time. I thought you said you were throwing flowers. Well, I didn't know if it would actually work and I didn't want to waste flowers. I tested the idea by throwing in some grass. I thought it might work, but it didn't. Uh, but don't worry, I started using flowers today. Maybe that's what it takes to summon the goddess. What do you think? I hope I didn't make her bad by giving her grass. Probably not. <laughs> she seems fairly chill. Oh, and another one. Doing our stretches today. Beautiful day by the lake, huh? Yeah. Except for this part. Oh, sorry. Mom, this is Knox. You two have met, right? Knox is the new farmer at the lot. Hello. Yes, we've met. How do you do, dear? Doing alright? Mom and I are doing a little stretching. I have some free time today, so what the heck? I figured I'd bring her here. It's good to stretch. That's true. It isn't fun doing it alone. Thankfully, Noah doesn't mind keeping me company. I wish I could stay longer. I have to pick up flower at Sam's. Mom, Frank needs to hire more people. I can't be the only one running around for stuff for the tavern. He's too cheap for his own good sometimes. Son, in that case, maybe you should go do it now. If it makes you anxious, I don't think you should put it off. But you'd be all alone up here, Mom. No, nah, no, that's a bad idea. Alright then. So I think 30 minutes more and then we head back home. Yeah, Mom? Yeah, right. Uh, you could join us. I have things to do today. Sorry. I guess we're staying. There you go. Let's move to a different spot that I need. <laughs> I'm going to go see the goddess. I want to make sure I have a list of stuff I need to turn in. 
I wish it just fast traveled. I wouldn't have been so interrupted, but it was good seeing them all. I got a new thing to write in, which is why I wanted to rewrite those down. So now I have all of the authors written down so I can keep them in mind. I don't have a lot of time, so I might spend a little bit of my energy. Well, it's only one. It looked darker up where I was, <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and do some diving, I think. No, I'm not. I'm going uh, to go home first. <laughs> I have seeds all over in my inventory. Oh, there's a, a sea slug. No, don't go. Woo! Nice. Okay. Took me a second. I kind of thought it, I was looking more at what I was doing, and then I was like, that movement isn't quite the same as our little robot thing. Alright, so we got one more of the things activated and we got quite a bit of loot. So I'm gonna go to the museum, drop off what we found. Let us see. We've got this be beetle. Kinda sad to donate such a nice sea slug. Got a starfish. Okay. Got some things donated. Look at it right there. It looks like it's dancing. We've earned some merits, which we knew. And we leveled up our foraging, so now we can make the kiln. Uh, we also leveled up our diving, so now we can make a scoop of snack and this guy. Alright, look at all these guys. We've got some coin. So what does it make to craft these new things? Bronze ore, which we need more of. Seaweed. And, oh, it's like a, it's an underwater bomb thing. Got it. So maybe it'll help. Clean up some of the garbage. <laughs> Can we make the um, distractor yet? No, we need wood. All right then. Let's check this guy. We have the two present or two birthdays. All right, let's get these cauliflowers picked. Yay! I might need to sell one. Let's see. Yep. Nope. Don't do that. One, please. The rest will be going into this here box. Right here. So organized. I want a bigger garden, but uh, it's a bit tedious at the moment, especially if I want to be out and doing things. Um, so that's why I don't plant a whole lot right now. Maybe once we have sprinklers or something, it won't be so bad. Okay, that's those things. So what should we gift people, I wonder. Now we've got a lot of violets. So maybe we'll take people some violets today. First we need Scott. He's usually by the mine, but I don't know where he is early in the day. Well, I probably want to go to the mine later anyway, so I will wait. I wonder... Yeah, I actually don't know where he lives. But I will instead look for little Oliver. Ooh, I got an ornate coffer. Come back, I know you're going to class, but I need to talk to you. Gift. Here you go. Yay, thanks for the birthday gift. I know it wasn't probably ideal, but... What I have. Any mysteries to solve? Yes. <laughs> Why are you lying to a kid? <laughs> oh, an event. I don't know what uh, if I recognize what this is. Whoa! Sorry. Have you been sneaking up on me? Uh, I didn't mean to. No, it's okay. It's just so quiet in here. I guess anything would have shocked me. Uh, sorry. I thought you would have heard me walking. Okay, I 
I thought you were Anne. I was supposed to go and get fresh vegetables at Sam's, but I thought, why not take them from here? Nature, right? It's a much closer distance, and let's face it, they taste the same. Well, they can taste better outside, but... <laughs> well, I'm glad he didn't take me too far from where I was, because I was going to go open this coffer real quick. What did we get? Trash! Thanks! <laughs> Ew, if we could get some bronze bars, we could start upgrading our tools. That'd be nice. I wish I'd sold that coffer. What is this? Oh. Should stop picking up stuff out here. <laughs> Going in into the mines. There you are, sir. Let's go ahead and talk. Ah, I didn't get anything valuable today. That's too bad. But at least I got a good workout in the carrot. The cavern. Uh, here. I have a morel. Oh, yay! Presents! Thanks! Perfect. Now it's out of my inventory. <laughs> oh! Wait, did you have human? Thank you. Slept much I did after ceremony. Go see goddess? I hope you have. Yep. Sure have. Goom goom. Talk now, we will. I've gone through so many cutscenes on accident here. Night of full moon many, many seasons ago. Giants I did. Frozen. Here in caravan. Cavern! I keep saying caravan for some reason. Alive they are, but unable I am to free them. Powerful magic cast. Earth, water, wind, all here, but fire, not here. Suspicious this is. It is. Investigate I want further each shaft, but strong barrier prevent me. Could not enter. Uh huh. But you freely enter Earth Shaft, I have seen. Clues of wine giants frozen must be inside. If go into Shaft again, help me, will you? To investigate. I shall. If find anything, I can sense and will come here. Sounds good. Bye, little guys. Heading in to the floor. Let's see what we can do down here. We did it! We got a ring of speed. Uh, is there anything else on here? Nothing there. 
Uh, I was really confused by the, that mark on the floor. Um, and I saw more um, towards the end there, but I just didn't have the stamina. And I really wanted to get down one more floor to save our progress. So uh, that was a bit unfortunate, because that was a lot of copper that I could have gotten more of. But I'm really excited that we got quite a bit there. Do I have space to wear the ring? Oh, here. I see. Equipment. Uh, yeah. Nice. I got a snail. We got a letter. I get out of this elevator to the mine shaft now goes down to level 10. I'm aware it was your doing. Since you've shown yourself to be capable, here's a task. Defeat 30 monsters, then swing by our guild once the job is completed. Consider this your entrance exam. Yes, the guild is right beside my house. All right, thanks, Kira. Too bad I didn't count all the ones I just fought. <laughs> all right, let's go to bed. Hopefully there's not a cutscene, but there probably will be because it's how it does. All right, let's go ahead and go to sleep. Hey, we light the sprinkler. I can post more or uh, plant more. We got more a uh, skill point, stamina. Okay, compost. We now have rope. And a stone sign. I wonder what those are for. Uh, we had relationship go up with those two. They're recording an hour and 20 minutes. Good luck cutting out an hour. <laughs> Why am I like this? Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. We got to go into the ocean. We went mining. We gifted people. Saw a lot of cutscenes. So it was uh, an eventful day. <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And until next time, have a wonderful day.